So guys, we will learn how to make a plugin from using CSS and HTML. So uh, I only really want to make it. So before I start, I really want to make a shout out to somebody who asked me to do this thing because somebody actually recommended this video for me on my Telegram channel, asking me to make something like this. So I really want to make a shout out to that person. So if you override this button so that you have a transition on, I'm sure I have another transition on right there. So all this is done with our CSS transition properties. So I'm going to be adding that as well. So and also this is very responsive. So if I try to just uh, shrink this browser like this all right you see how the thing was taken to mobile into the mobile screen okay so i can also enlarge it like this all right so i enlarge it inside the thing was taken properly so i'm just going to make this bigger right now so let's say it can be done using code so coming to my vs code right here so if i toggle this down see that i have a I have something like a folder right here okay yeah i have uh, a folder called photo website and i have a another folder called media and uh, under this i have html and css let me show you the, the folder here so this is the this is, this is the folder all right so let's go back now what i'm going to do i'm just going to toggle this down so i'll see how what how what may uh, make up this uh, folder you have two background two two images okay this, this is the BG and this is the PNG. Okay, right here I have uh, under and uh, here I have three SVG logos. Okay, which I'm going to do for this side. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to click on my HTML. All right, I'm going to toggle this down. So we're going to be using MS to, to to make this thing very very fast. I'm going to use a uh, hyphen tab. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to write uh, write something like. Uh, photo photo me all right so i'm going to create a link tag look at it's main the css i'm going to create another link tag again so this one i'm going to write create something like uh, media okay i'm going to add this fav icon here so yeah i'm going to create icon now this favorite icon that we are adding is the icon you see on your browser. So I'm going to show you that before. All right, so I'm going to save this. So the next thing for me to do is that I'm going to come to my body tag. I'm going to say uh, div. Okay, inside this div, I'm going to call this. I'm going to give this a class of uh, site wrapper. S I site wrapper. So I'm using on underscore to do that. So the next side is site wrapper. So this site wrapper is going to be something that's going to what, like wrap all the HTML tags. So inside this, I'm I'm going to be add, um, I'm going to call this and I'm going to create a comment section called header, header section. So under this, I'm going to be having an header section. This header section, where I'm going to be creating a, I'm going to create an HTML tag of header, under which I'm going to create a div of uh, logo. Okay, now. Let, let me save this first. Let's let, let, let us open this with our live server. Okay, so now you won't see anything, okay? But at least you can see this uh for me. So let me let me show you how, 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 how this is done. So if I come here now, right? If I just comment this out and save this, you see that this will just disappear as you can see. So if I come here and just bring you back now save it now it will rep it will reappear that shows you that that tag is what's responsible for that icon so i just want you to know that so the next i'm going to do now is that i'm going to under this logo i'm going to create something like i'm going to create an image tag which i'm going to add to create a media that is the media folder and i'm going to target the logo look at that i'm using this white i'm, I'm using this one svg white so then I'm just going to save it and I'm going to scroll down. Okay, so these are local sections. So I'm going to come down now. The second one I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be creating a div of a uh, class of header btn. BTN. So I'm going to just type it like this. So under this, I'm going to be creating a ref, a link tag, that is an anchor tag rather, which I'm going to put something like sign in. So this is going to be our button, so I'm going to create another one. I'm going to create this one is going to be uh, join now, join now. 
okay so we are we are done with that so let's let's start this in this class okay now we have this our uh, this our big logo and we have this our two button although there's something in this place they are not seen okay because this because this thing is white you know it. let me show you here this is it right here but, but the logo is too big so so, so you know it. but when i'm going to add CS, i'm going to reduce it okay so let's go back now the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to actually go out of this header right now because i'm done with the the header part now i'm going to come right i'm going to call this login box so i'm going to create the login box here login box login form box login form box i want you to understand everything that i'm connecting this so the next thing i'm going to create i'm going to create a main in an HTML tag of main now main is usually used for wrapping up div and section so this 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 is the main tag so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to create a section okay under this section i'm going to create a class of form box form box all right under this i'm going to create an image tag okay which is going to take media all right media of photo me white photo me white yeah this one okay so under this i'm going to add uh, an input tag an input tag okay which is going to take email something of email so i want to add an email to this i'm going to create something like name for this name i'm not going to put anything there so the next is place order place order so i'm going to put email here all right so i'm going to put another input tag this input tag is going to take something like password all right i'm also going to put a name and i'm going to put a placeholder of uh, password all right so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create another one another button another tag rather so this one is going to be button this button i'm going to write log in log in is it login yeah login let the login in be separate so that it will be visible so login so inside this login text i'm going to create another anchor tag now this anchor tag we're going to create this for forget password because it makes sense because most time people do forget password so say forget password so there's something that people can use if they forget their password so that's forget password the next i'm going to use i'm going to create another link tag another anchor tag so which is going to be nope let me put this under a paragraph let's call this page let's call this a paragraph so i'll say don't 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 so don't have an account have an an account so we say question that here we we'll create another link tag so we'll say uh join join now so we'll say join now so let me add a ref tag here okay something like this so basically we are we are almost done with this html not 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 too many details so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to go out of this main I'm going to call this footer. Footer. So under this footer, I'm going to add something like. If I'm going to add a footer, of course. So inside the footer, I'm going to create an image tag. So I'm going to write media. So I'm going to put this white. All right. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add more tags here. I'm going to write an under anchor tag here. So this anchor tag is going to be taking something like uh, terms of term, terms and condition, condition. Okay. So the next one is going to be is going to be a uh, parent company company. The third one is going to be a uh, what is this one? This is going to be a uh, newsletter. So, so in case someone needs to sign up for this a newsletter, so this one is going to be going to be uh, about us. About.
starts hours. So the third one is going to be now this one is going to be help. So if someone needs help, so this one is going to be a uh, contact. Yeah, contact. Contact. So that's it. So so that's so that's it guys. This is just basically all what we need here. So let's save it and see what we have. Okay, this is basically it. So yeah, we have this two gigantic image here and this one right here. So this is going to be for the footer. This is going to be for the box. This is going to be for the header. So if I come here, let's have a look at it. This is it. This is it. And also this is it. So this is exactly the finished project. So let's go back. Now the next thing for us to do is to go to our CSS. So let's target our CSS and just come back here. All right. Now, before we actually go to our CSS, all right. If I come to my HTML, you see that I have some space here. You will not be seeing this space, but they are there. All right. So, what one? Look at this one. There is space here. Now, one thing, one thing about this thing is that anytime you create a, a tag, the tag will automatically add the margin and pad in there. So, so we don't really want it. So, so, we have to get rid of it. So, what I'm going to do now? I'm just going to create something like this. That is a white card. So, I will say padding. I'll say zero. I'll say margin. I'll say zero. I'll say border box. Box sizing. I'll say border box. All right. So if I, if I save it by save it now, and I come here, see that everything is now staying at the edge of it right here. The same thing with this one. So this this space you are this space you, you are seeing here right here is for that logo I told you about, like the white space. All right. So the next I'm going to do now, I'm going to like target this header let's check it let's look at the structure again so if i come up like this you see that i have uh, i have this header right here so we, we, are, we have already filled this logo so i want to target this this, this uh this uh header type so i'm going to come here now okay so i'll see header okay so header i'll just target the header straight up i'll see background color right i'll say zero a one d two b okay let's save it and see what we have okay now now i can see this big this big photo right here so it's the next i'm going to do is that i'm going to say i'm going to say uh before i display flex i need to like work on the side of the logo i'll say logo no i'm going to put the dot i'll say logo Right, I'll say IMG. I'll say width. I'll say 14 EM. I'm gonna save this like this. So if I come here, you see how small the logo is. So as you see how small the logo is now. Okay, as you can see, this 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 thing is floating below this one. We don't want it. So come back here. You see, we both, both of them are staying side by side. So I want you to stay by side by side. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to come back here now. I'm going to say, let me come back to this place. I'll say display flex. Display flex. Alright, let's see if I see what's going to happen. You see, once I put display flex, this 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 will not bring it to this point. Alright, so the next thing for, for me to do, I will just uh I'll say justify content. So what I'm using here is flexbox. Okay, I will just I'll see space round. So if I save space round, I come back. You see how you see how the thing does split both of them together. So that's the function of space round. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring this down again. I'll say uh, padding. All right, I'll say padding eight pixels zero because we want to bring it eight pixels uh, bottom and below. You see how I bring this thing bottom and below eight pixels. So that's that for that. So the next thing I'm going to do between now is to target is to target the header uh that that is uh, that's to do this is to target the header which is uh I'll say header and I'll target the header BTN BTN and I'll target this A tag. So I'm going to add a dot here because this is the class. Let me let me show you this class so that you see it yourself. Okay, so this so, so what we are targeting now is this header this one right here okay now we want to uh 
want to work on it here so i'll say i'll say uh color right i'll say color is fff it does not need to be white all right so i'll say text decoration i'll say none so if i save this you see you see the effect right here i, I can also reduce this that can be seen how everything is working working so that it will not be it will be easy for us to work on rather than just going to the browser step by step yeah something like this so i will just work on that like that so the next thing for me to do i will say font family i will say my read pro my read pro so if i save it you see the font has changed. So the next thing for the next thing for me to do, I will say font size. Font size is 1.2 mm. I will say margin. Margin right. 1.5 mm. All right. So if I save this now, you see how the thing does balanced properly now the next thing for the next thing from uh for him to do now after targeting this right we are we are done with this if, if you come here you see that we have this and this one so we want, want to add something special to this one this this box here so i'll come back here i'll do something like this now i'm going to target the same header the same header button but this time i will put a link tag i'll say the last child the last child now this this last child that I want to target is this one. So why is it called the last child? Well, let's come back and see why it's called the last the last child. So if you look at this this div right here, okay, we have two links here. We have this one. I also have this one. So this this first one is called the first child. This one is called the last child. So one wants to come back here now. Want to target only this one. Make sure that everything we are doing is affecting only this text. Okay, so that 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 will call it a, a last child. So it just affects only that one alone. So what I'm going to do to the last shade, I'm going to say border, border, okay, I'll say one pixels, solid, and I'll say white. So if I save it, you see something like that. So the next thing for, for me to do, I'll say padding, padding should be, uh, padding should be 8 pixels, up and down, that's top and bottom, and 12. 12 pixels uh, left and right yes left and right so you see something like that so the next thing for me to do I will say uh, border border radius 5 pixels ok so what else again I will say transition now we are going to add transition to this now what I want to transition is the background ok background so I'll say one seconds linear. I don't want it to be linear. I don't want to add so much effect there. So that's it. But now you're not seeing anything working because we're not actually applied the we're not actually, actually applied the background to it. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to actually target. So let's come here and see our print. If you see this print, you see that these two buttons are what are kind of line with this one. Unlike this one, that the thing is up. So let's work on that. Let's come back here and see how that can be worked on. So if you look at this header BTN, okay. Now that um uh, that is what is happening these two uh this these two uh elements right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply style to this so that it will just bring both of them down. So I'll just come up here. I'll I'll, I'll do it up here, okay. So I'll say I'll say uh header no BTN. I'll say margin top margin top we just want to target the top of certain pixels if I save it okay exactly what I need so now I'll scroll down here so what I'm going to do now so I'm going to target the last child of course this one I'm going to say I'm going to say A so I'm going to target the last child I'll say last child I'm going to say over, over state so that if it wants to over over it, so have 
will have an effect. I'll say background color. Okay, so I'm going to put it as white. So I'm going to say color. I'm going to put this as a. Uh, I'm going to put the color as a uh, RGB in RGB. So I'm going to put it as 10, 28, 28, 41. So if I save this and I override this, that's what we have exactly. You see? Okay. So remaining this one, we're having no effect there. So let's let's just target this now. Okay, let's copy it and just paste it right here. Alright, so let's just it's over here. Okay, I'm going to skip. Okay, let's put it over here. So now the overlay we're going to be is just color. We don't we don't we don't need a background in this one. So I'll say C C C. It's just a light gray. So if I save it now, I come here. You see those you don't see this subtle effect. Very light gray. So that's for that. So the next thing for, for us to do now is to work on our box. Right? So work on our box. So we are done with the first one. So let's Let's go to our main section. So let me go back to our HTML and explain what, what just happened. So if I come back to my HTML now and I, and I scroll down, see that I'm done with this upper one. So this is what we are working on now. Okay, I'm working on this section. So if we come back here, you see the section here. This is this box that we have here. Okay. So let's go back here and see how that can be done. Let's go back to our CSS. Let's come back to main. So now the main part. So I'm going to say main, of course. So I will say display grid. All right. And I will say uh, justify content. I'll put it as center. And I want to center this. And I'll say justify item. I'll say center now. This CSS grid should, in case you don't know this one, I think you need to study it. So I'll say top 4 pm. Alright, if I save it, you see what else happened now. But you, or you might not be seeing this thing properly because I've not actually added background effects to it. So we'll see what I'm going to do now. The next I'm going to do, I'm going to put a form, a form box. Alright, now a form box, they're going to put a background color. Background color of our uh, RGB RGB A. Now the, this RGB A, we are going to be putting. I'm going to be putting 10, 28, 28, 41, and uh, we are going to be putting something like 0 0.6. Now let me explain this properly so that we have a better understanding. Now this this GBA stands for alpha. Okay. Now this this GBA represent this this, this last figure that we have here. It stands for alpha, which represent Transparency. You still understand this after the end of this tutorial. So the next I'm going to do now, I'm going to create a width of a uh, width of 30 viewpoint I. By 30 viewpoint I, what I mean by this 30 viewpoint I, as you can see right here, okay, means that we want him to take 30 percent of this browser. Okay. Now, if I enlarge this now, you see how this thing fits in properly. Now, the reason why you are actually Having this in my list, so work on this later. I won't get to the media query section. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to say padding. I'll say padding to be 10 pixels. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'll say display, display flex. All right, so I'll say flex direction. I'll say Colon, okay, we'll put it as colon. So the next thing for me to do, I will say align item center. Okay, that's center right there. So I will say border border radius. I'll put it at five pixels. Okay, that's it for there. So now the next I'm going to do now we are, we are done with this. Although doesn't really look sweet, but I think we're gonna work on it. So let me enlarge it so that you see how the thing is like. So it looks like this, and I enlarge it. So I'm going to come back like this. So the next thing for us to do is if we come back here now, let's see our work now. Okay, so we need to style all, all these uh, all these individual uh, 
Okay, it's all the same individual element. So let's let's come down again. This one I'm going to be working on. I'm going to be targeting the form, the form image. Now this form image, I'm going to be saying width of uh, width of uh, sixty percent. So we want this image to take sixty percent of inside this box. So if I save it, so you see it takes sixty percent. Now the next time we do that, we will see margin. Margin top, I'll say two em. Margin top, I'll say two em. So if I save this, it's better. I'll get less and less. You can see what we have. You see, just like so. So let's scroll down and check the next thing we're going to be doing. So I'm going to be checking the form input. I'm going to say input. The size is input now. We are going to target. We are going to tell us to display. Display block. Now, why am I putting display block? Let me explain this before you, so I don't get confused. So if I enlarge this, okay. Normally, oh oh, the, this thing that we have here, they are kind of a uh, inline block, okay. No, no inline block. They are they are kind of a uh, uh, inline element. The reason why they are like this is because I have actually displayed them as flex. So I'm going to put inline blocks that they actually function as a block level element rather than an inline ele element. That's the reason why I'm putting a, uh, uh, that's why I want to put this inline block here. So that I have an idea, um, it seems that I have an idea of what I'm doing. So I'll say inline block. So, okay, I'll say border. I'll say border. Border. None. So we don't want border to be there. You see, all those lines have been moved. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I will say padding. I will say 10 pixels. Alright, inside it. This is going to increase the size. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to say margin. Now, margin, ma margin top, actually, we actually put a space between it. I will say 1.5 em. Alright. So, if I come down here, I will say width. Of uh, ninety percent, okay, of the parent. All right, that's it for you. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'll say border, border radius. I'll say five pixels. Okay. So let, let's see. Now I see our border radius just make it round. So let's zoom in this and see what we have here. Okay. This is taking shape gradually. So let's reduce it again. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is actually target the. Uh, the fonts. We target the font family of. Uh, I'm gonna put this as my rate. My rate. Pro. All right. So, which is has changed. Now, notice that any any time you're working with a font, of, okay, there has two text like there has two text like this, okay, not two text, two word. It's good for you to put something like a put. We have to put inside a semicolon, okay. Not semicolon inside uh you have to be inside a quote a quote a quote if you don't quote it you just remove this quote it's not going to work so that's how we are doing it for that so you always put it inside a quote so next time when i'll say font size font size i'll say uh 0 0.9 em all right and i'll say color i'll say zero Zero B D B D F F four. Okay, if I save it, you see what we have there. Now you will not see it, but if I, if I type, you see it. You see, if I type it, you see it. Now the the color is in anything we we type, as you can see, it's really showing. But now, but but, but uh, now you will not see it. Okay, so let's scroll down. All right. I'm going to be ta targeting is this BTN. So let let's come here and just give it a look. Look at the BTN right here. This BTN. So let's see how to work with it. Now the next thing. So how to do this? I'm going to say form. I'll say button. I'll say uh, width of uh, I think ninety percent. Margin of. Is it margin top? No, yeah, no margin top. Margin of. Uh, 1.5 em 0 
I E N zero. So if I save this, you see. Now let me explain what this thing means. Now this one point five E M means that put one point five E M at the top. Zero means the right. Means this right. Don't add anything to it already. So this one means the bottom. Okay, add two point five at the bottom. This zero means this left. So don't add anything at this point. Do so this two point. Don't add any other thing. But these two points add something to it. All right. That that's why that thing is added to it. Uh, done. So the next thing I'm going to do to this, I'm going to say padding, of course. So I'll say padding, padding of uh, 10 pixels. So the next one I'm going to be doing, I'll say border of uh, border of um, is it none? Yeah, I'll say none. Because we don't want border to be there. Okay, that's it. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to say font family, font family of my weight. My weight pro. So the font family is change. Alright. So the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to say font weight. Font weight. I'm going to say bold. Or bolder. Yeah, bolder. So the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to say colors. We're going to add color to it. I'm going to put white. F F F F F. So we are going to be adding the background color. Going to be putting no, not this, this one. I'm going to be putting the first one. Not this one. This first one, of course. We are going to be adding this one. So if I save it, you should have something like this. Now, I'm going to still add a cursor of uh, a cursor of pointer. Now, this one has cursor of pointer so that if you touch it like this, you see it changes to be pointer. So that's that. So the next thing. The next thing we're going to do is that we're going to other radius. Other radius. I'm going to put it at five pixels. I have the other radius there. Okay. So the next, the last thing we're going to be adding to this thing is a transition. Now I'm going to put in a, a transition of uh, background color. Background color. Background. I'm going to put one second linear. Okay. Now, it has show, but it must exactly affect itself once we over over it. All right. So the way so the reason I'm putting this background is because one um uh, want to be specific, but I want it to work on only the background color. Now, if we, if we put all, it's going to do all these elements. So, but we don't want that. So we don't want to just work on only the background. So that's what I'm doing that that way. So the next thing I'm going to be targeting is the by effect. So let's let's say a uh, form form box button. So let's, let's put an overstate. Let's put an overstate right here. Now the overstate is, is going to be just like an invert. Yeah, so I'm going to invert the color. So so here is white. Okay, that's the background. So we'll say the color is uh so the color is zero zero this one. Okay, so let's let, let's save it. You see, you see, so that's that. So, the next one we're going to be targeting now is this one. Okay, let's let's work on this and cut tab. Okay, we want to work on this and this together. Now, let me show you as this, this can be done for you. So, I'm going to say form, of course. I'm going to say form, I'm going to target this A. So, any, anything that I put now, anything that I put inside this form is going to affect this A. Alright, if I if I do something like this and just come here, you see that I have yeah, I have this element called form box. This element I have this A. So let let us come back here and see so that I have a better understanding of what is going on. So if I scroll down here, you see that this section tag I have I have a class of form. Okay? So under this section of form, I have this link tag, this A tag right here that that that, that ends here. I also have another link tag here, okay? We use and join which, which happen to be these two. Now, what you need to understand is that since this one, since this, uh, since this section is inside this one, okay, if I if I target this one and target this A, every A inside this one is going to be affected. Every link tag, okay, or every anti cut tag is going to be affected. As long as it's, it's like this, but once I put something like arrow like like this, okay, it's going to affect the direct one. Just only this, this first one will be affected. All right, so but we don't want that, so I'm going to get rid of this now. 
So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to do something like that. Um, I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to say text decoration. Now text decoration is those lines that you see there. So you say no, you don't want the lines to be there. If I save it, now the line has disappeared. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put a color. So the color is going to be this one. So let's, let's see the color. As you can see, all the color has been, has been moved. Now, the next thing for us to do, I'm going to be targeting the, uh, I'm going to be targeting the, the P paragraph, all right? I'll say form A, to A, no, not P. So the P paragraph, they're going to be having fun family. Right of our uh, my rate my rate pro okay so we're going to be having a color of uh, CCC CCC that's a light gray we're going to be having a margin a margin top of uh, 1 EM so we just save it So what I'm going to, I'm going to copy this. You copy this one and just it here. Okay, that's okay like that. So let's go down. Let, let let's make this big. Let's see. Okay, not bad at all. You can see how, how the thing looks cool. Now if I scroll this thing down, it looks it looks squashy. So what we get to make that query, we will just keep this. I'm doing this because I don't want to be switching the editor because it looks a little bit buggy and slow. So that's that other thing will work. So the next thing I'm going to be doing right now is that I'm going to be targeting this one. This one. Let's take a look at how the footer looks like. If you look at our footer here, you see if I scroll down, this is the footer. But if I make it bigger, so that the footer does stand something like this. Okay. So let's see how we can work on this footer. Now let's come back here. So the next thing I'm going to do for this footer is I'm going to target the footer straight up. I'll say footer. I will see background color. So I will see what, what we are working with. So I'm going to take this one. So let's save it. Okay, now you see how the footer looks like. So I'm going to target the, the image first. Let's target the, this, this footer image. That we'll make it smaller. So let's target our footer image. So I want to say footer image. So that footer image, I'm going to say width. Which is 4 EM. Alright, so now let's come back. So, what I'm going to be adding, I'm going to be adding justify content. I'm going to say center. So, I'm going to say position. Alright, I'm going to say absolute. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say bottom. I'm going to say zero. Okay, so that's going to place it at the bottom of this. So I'm going to say width, width of 100%. I'm going to take across of the page. So let's enlarge this and see what we have done so far. Okay, so you see this now is centered to the center and it has stay at the bottom of this page. So let's add another, let's kind of add something else to it. Now let's, let's work on it. Let's work on this link tag as you can see. They're not really looking nice at all, so let's put a link tag. Then I'm going to say test decoration. Test decoration, I'm going to say none. I've seen myself. So now I'll say color. Color, I'm going to say white. Of course, I'll say white and I'm going to say font family. I'll say my uh, my read pro my read pro and I'll say uh margin margin should be one point six em top and bottom and I'll say three three em all right left hand so I have to put add space to this thing. Okay, this, this is it. So let me enlarge it like so I have an idea. Okay, this is it. Now, here we have one point, 
uh, 1.6 here and we have 3 em here so that is the reason about this here so if i kind of bring this down you see i still have enough and a lot of space here so that so that is that for, for the margin i want is that if if you over over this thing at least uh we should have an effect so let's copy this and just paste it and just make an overstate overstate so if i'm going to put color So if I do it like this, you see, I have my overstate. Now that's that's that. So the next thing I'm going to be doing right now is um is let's see what we are having if this is perfect. Now this is very very perfect. So we want the next thing to do is to add our background image. We need to add background image to this side, this picture. As you can see, we have this background image. Now this background image is going to make it change the look and feel of this side. So let's let, let's scroll up. Let's take it from uh, after the air that is. I want everything to kind of be in line. We should put a background image, I think, before this one. Yeah, let's let's do this side now. Before I add a background image, let's let's come here. Let's go to our image tag. Let's scroll. Now, if you look at this, our first div tag right here, which is the parent. Yes, which is the parent, and it wraps around this uh this 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 side wrapper here. So we so we need this size wrapper. Okay, we need we need this size size wrapper class. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna come back here and just put a dot and just paste it. We can type it out if you want. So uh what I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh say background. background color background image. Alright. So I'm gonna say URL. Alright, I'm going to pick the image right here. If I save it, but they might not see it just yet. Okay, here's the image. So let, let's take a look at it. Now, this, this image does, does, does not really look ideal com compared to this one, which is very bad. Now, the reason is it's just too large for this background, it's very, very large. So, what, what we want to do is just to resize so that it fits in this this body properly. So, let's see how that can be done. So, let's go back and just say, uh, come back to say background position so we say center oh, let's, let's, let's come in. okay so we'll center it like this the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to say background repeat no repeat okay so we say background size cover so we want you to just cover it this is going to affect it now okay that's that so then we say uh, position we put it position absolute okay Alright, so the next I'm going to be putting is uh, I'm going to put a width. If I want it to have a width, although now the reason I put position, I put it now. You will not see this, like the thing does okay. Let's just look at where we have it. Just come an idea. So let's let's fix it. We'll put a width now of uh, 100 percent. Yeah, I think 100 percent. No, 100 viewpoint. 100 view w. Okay, so that's that. So, an height of uh, 100 view point height. If I save it, there you go. So this is it. So this is this is it currently. So we are let's put it right here and let's put it right here. So if I scroll here now, you see, if I scroll it up there. Yeah, you see, so this comes like this. You see. So this this is exactly how everything should be, and then we have something like this. So basically, this this is it. So the next one we have to do is just to add major query to this thing. All right. 
Let's come and let's see how the thing is how the thing is compared together. Now, if we compare this together, you see that here I have this blue, this bluish something. Unlike here, we've not fixed it. So let, let's add that. That can be done. Let's add our, that blue something to this, to this. So it should have something like blue here. Now, the reason why we don't have that blue is because I think we forget to add it. Let's look for it where we are going to put it. It should be after our input tag. Yes. Let's copy this input tag. Let's copy. Let's put it below here. Let's paste it. So I'm going to put this folder. Now, this this, this is a pseudo element. So we're going to be tar targeting the font family. Font family. I'm going to be saying uh, I'm going to put it as my rich, my rich pro. Okay. So uh, I'm going to put it as font size. Font size is 1.2 pm. So uh, the next time I'm going to be I'm going to put in color. Okay, I'm going to put in color. So I'll just save it like this. Now, now, should in case this this font, all right? I know we're seeing your computer, so, so you can go ahead and install it. The reason why this thing is showing because I have this font installed on my computer already, so you can see everything is now balanced. Now the next thing for us to do is that anytime I come and see how big this this this, this box is, if I come and see how shrink this this one is. Now the reason the cost for this is that we need we need we need me, uh, media query to fix it. So let's say this this will be done. So we have to go to the end of this page to do that. I'm gonna write media query here. Inside the, inside the uh, media query, we are going to say uh, at at media only at media only. So we want to target only media, not for print and screen. And uh, so we are going to be putting max width, okay? Max width of uh, one one. Seven nine. So I'll show you why we are putting this on one seven nine. All right. And uh, and I'll do something like this. Mean width of uh, that is the minimum width of uh, nine five five px. All right. So now I'm going to put something like this. Now what 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 is going on is that we are saying that. If I scroll this like this, if I scroll this like this, okay, to this point, and I kind of inspect this this page. No, I don't want to view page details. Not this. And I kind of inspect this page. Inspect. So if I click this, and I put it here, so that you have and here. I have one one something. So now I'm saying that from this point, all right, to this point, okay, between it, I want some effect to to to, to just apply, okay. That's what what that means. So let, let me show you an example. If I say body display none, let's see if this is going to work. It should work. Okay. Now you see how this you see how this thing wipe out. That's because we are in between this one one uh one one ninety seven and five five five. So we are saying that when when it gets to in between this thing, we want some things to happen. So what do we want to happen? So let, let, let's get rid of this and see what we want. Uh let's see the effect we need to put. We, we want to target our main. Okay, we want to target our main. I want to put the margin. I just imagine, imagine top of, uh, imagine top of 2 em, all right, and I want to put a footer of, uh, a footer of display grid, display grid. So what, why do you want to put it the display grid? Let me explain properly. So 
Uh oh. Is that not, is that really the speed glitch? Let me remove let me oh my god check this. Let me explain it properly. Now if you look at this this thing, you see that this photo is touching the, the, the edge of this thing and, and it's not okay. So because if you are reading this thing now you you, you uh we want to be seeing everything. So once we have this display grid, we we'll, we'll, we'll kind of realign this thing properly. So that's why we're putting display grid. So that that will not be touching the edge of that part. Okay, once I have display grid, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to say grid template colon. So I'm going to say repeat. So I'm going to say repeat for auto. So I want it to repeat for auto. Now what, what is repeat for auto means is that I want it to, to slice it into four area one, two, three, four. As you can see, it has now been sliced into four area. Although, although, although the thing looks a little, a little bit messy. Okay, we are going to clean it right now. So that's that. I'm going to scroll down now. I'm going to say uh, enter image. Right, I will say margin. I say one. 0.6 em 3 em if i save it now everything has not balanced okay see so we not we, we we have kind of uh we adjusted it so if i kind of screw it like this now you see what i have here all right so now let's see let me reduce it again so i see how this is now if i do it on mobile it it, it will lose its effect, okay? So I'm going to show you why that. I'm going to show you why that thing is the case. All right. So the next thing for me to do now is to target the the form part. So I'm going to call this form. So the form part, I'm going to say at media. No, no, not at media and screen. I don't want to declare this thing. Let's just go, let's just go up and just copy this. Okay, so let's scroll down. So the next thing I'm going to do for me, I'm going to say 995. Yeah. No, 955 to 0 pixels. 955 to 0 pixels. Let me move this to the edge. Okay, so what do we want to happen? So we want so we want to have a, a main a main of our margin. No, my margin top of our Two EM margin bottom two EM. Okay, escape. So let me save it and see. All right. So margin top two EM. Now, in case what in case you are wondering, what what the main is is this one. Now, the reason why this thing is not being applied is because this is kind of a <coughs> This element has been positioned to uh, to read to absolute, so it's not part of this. This uh, it's not under this document, okay? So it's kind of uh, it's kind of uh, above it, okay? Not directly under it. So that's what that is doing there. So I'm going to fix it so that everything works for, uh, perfectly. So what I'm going to do now? I'm going to say form. All right. So here yeah, we are going to be add, adding the width. I will say 70 pi. Now I want to increase the width now. So 18 has increased. This width before is currently is tiny. So we, we take it from 30 to 70. Now the next thing for us to do is to target the footer now. So the footer should be display grid. Display grid. So we say grid template colon. So we say repeat to auto. If 
if I save it now, it will be almost just five into two. You see, it's a five into two. So we are going to work on this thing so that everything looks nice and better. All right, so I'll say position. Position. Relative. Okay, so if I scroll down, you see, it's not relative now. So we remain this one and this one that we're going to fix. So position relative. Now, we are going to target the image section. I'll say footer. IMG. I'll say margin. I'll say 1.6 EM. If I scroll this down, you can see every, every, everything has now position properly. So the next thing for me to do, the next thing for me to do is to is to copy this. Let me copy this and see how this can be used to balance the your power. One. And this is relative as well. Everything fits in properly. So I'm just going to go ahead and refresh this page, alright? So uh, that's it. We are done with it. We are done with it. You see, the problem has been fixed. The problem is actually refreshing. So after we refresh the page, everything has fixed properly. So, guys, so this is the end of this tutorial. Here's the end. If you come here and just take a look, both are the same thing entirely so guys and uh, this is it so feel free to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video